everybody. Today we're here with Will, a friend of mine that's been up here. In a, he's actually been in a few videos here. And he brought his horse up and he actually, we have the, our, our neighbor Amish friend is coming up to shoe her today. He does a little, little bit of logging and so he wants some shoes on her. Um, but he's having some, a little few issues with his harness. So um, he wants to run some questions by me. So get right in here, Will. First of all, can you say again what kind of horse you think it is? Because everybody's going to wonder. Well, the guy that I bought her from told me she was perch on and soft at cross, but. I still can't believe she weighed. We weighed her up the other day she was here. And she weighed, what was it? We said? 1764. And I just can't believe she's that big. I mean, she looks so small. She's wide, though, you know. Yeah, she's know. short, but she's... But, anyways. what? So, what's your problems that you're having? Uh, and the questions you were having, wanted to ask me. It seems to, when she gets on a, on a heavy load, she'll pull it, but she just doesn't seem comfortable. She just... Uh, and she makes a grunting noise, and, and she just holds her head a different way. Okay. So you have two collars here. So what collar have you been using? I've been and using the one with the pad on it. And you asked about an adjustable collar yes. also. Did you bring that today? No, I oh. haven't bought, I want to buy one. Oh, okay. I was okay. asking your opinion on them. Okay, I, I guess for an adjustable collar, I've never, I don't know, this, there's something about adjustable collar that I've always been taught over the years that they're no good. Now, a lot of people would disagree with me there, I'm sure. But I've never actually used one but I guess I'm hesitant to use one because of what I've heard over the years. Why don't we put the collar on that you're using and let me see how it fits her and then get the harness on and see how the harness and the yeah. hames and the draft. And why I was together. thinking about adjustable collars because when I don't use her much in the summer, she gets a little fat. Yeah, and I think that's a lot of the reason why people like adjustable collars so you can readjust it. And I'm looking at that and I can tell right now that collar's too small. What size collar is that? That's a 24. Yeah, and definitely too small because I say that. Because, yeah, definitely. And and when she's pulling really hard, that's gonna come back and semi choke her. You know, because if she's really pulling hard, you push really hard against that collar, it's, there's not, there's not enough room there for that collar. And I can't tell until you get the hames on, but to get the draft right, that it's gonna be, I'm guessing, too high but we can't tell for sure until I see it. Um, if this was used for basic farm work and whatnot, it wouldn't be a problem. But if you're pulling pretty decent sized loads logging, that's where it's gonna be a problem. And you don't hear those issues until you have big logs on, is that correct? That's correct. So that would tell me that another reason why I would think that that collar is too small. So can we throw the harness right on? I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how he does this because he's got a, a bad right shoulder, just like I've been having some issues. Oh, his is fairly big. So we act, he's actually harnessing the source backwards. So let's see how he does it. And he puts the britching over his head like that, which I think is a really good way to do it. So it stays on and being his shoulders messed up, this allows him to do that. You need to invest in one one of those fasteners I, I use. I really like those a lot. She's very sweet. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some some issues that I could help you with. Okay, uh, let's where should I start? Up at the the hames is the biggest issue I'm seeing. The rest looks looks fine as far as... Yeah, I'm having no troubles seeing anything wrong with the, this part of the harness, the, you know. The, but up here, this is a definite issue. This is how you run her, just like that. Well, no. I called you the other day about hame straps, remember? 
Oh, that's right. Because the hame strap broke. Yes. I went to the Amish guys, and that's all they had. Okay. okay. So I only worked there one day like that. Okay. Because I I didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And remember I told you this hame seemed longer than the other one. Yes, you did say that. Doesn't look it though. You could just take a rope and or a piece of or a tape and measure it. I think you'll find that these hames are really too big for that collar. But then again, that collar is too small for that horse. That is not the best size collar. And I bet I have a collar in there you could borrow. Um, you say that was 24. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's a 23. Yeah. Well, that's no good either. Um, you know, she needs a 25 or a 26 inch collar. Because um, shouldn't them sit about down here? Well, no sense even checking. One one way, one way to check this is is you go, you find that bone right there, right in the corner. Yep. And you put just five fingers like that. That's one way. Um, but there again, it's just. Where's the end of the five fingers supposed to be? Right to the bottom of the tug, which is not too terribly bad. So the draft isn't really that far off. Um, just the collar is not sitting where it's supposed to. Well, the be collar is too small. To collar's too small, and the hames do not fit that collar. And even if you, even if you tighten this up where it should be, see the big gap up there? Yep. It's a huge gap, and it's almost like some some of your pulling people will actually bend these hames to fit a particular horse. It almost looks like that's been bent, and and with this markings here, it could be from heat to bend. I almost bet, I bet these hames are actually bent. So they don't fit this collar and don't fit this horse, but the collar is too small. So if we get a different size collar, then we can see if these, this works. So why don't we bring her over to the barn, lead her over there. And actually this is good lighting right here. Maybe we should continue right here. You warm enough? I will be. Okay. Um, let's go grab a different collar and uh, and go from there. So we'll go see what we have for collars here. All my big horses take a 26 inch collar, so that's not gonna so help. So if I buy a 26 oh, no. to a 27 adjustable, I should be safe. Except I don't like adjustable, so I would not do But maybe that Will does. Do <laughs> um, the right size collar, and if they don't work for a little while, you can do some slight adjusting even with a sweat pack. Okay. So, uh, let me just see if I possibly have a 25. So I could suggest that you take your collar and take the sweat pad off. That'll make it a bigger collar, but that won't help you out any because the hames don't fit that collar. So if we get to get a bigger collar, your hands are gonna be fitting the collar better, plus you can have the sweat pad, which I really prefer having the sweat pad. Do you think that is a 25 right there? Do you think I could buy new hames? Well, I'm gonna buy new harnesses anyway, so they come with hames. Well, I might have some hames here that will work. And those hames might work fine on here. This collar is still perfectly fine. Um, I happen to have some other sweat pads here. That are still usable, I've replaced them. Let's just see. Wipe it off. Size-wise, what we're going to be? All oh, my stuff are pretty close to the 20. Well, I don't have any 25-inch collars. It's all 26s. This sweat pad here is a little bit large, but maybe that's okay. I could let you use either one of these if they fit. So we'll just take this 26. 
because it compared to that one. And this 25? That's 25. That to me looks almost too, going to be too small still. This one's better than any one that I've got. I feel bad for her that she doesn't have a mate. She used to be in alone, huh? I'm going to go get another, uh, another hame, uh, hame strap. You can just leave the harness right on, just throw it off his back. And then uh, take that collar right off. I'll be right back. I like her pink lead rope. <laughs> That's the wife. <laughs> She wants black and purple harnesses too. Uh, there's a pulling team that it's a woman and she has like a lot of pink on her harnesses or sweat pads. I think her sweat pads. A lot of stuff. Push up. <laughs> she, she's like, what are you doing to me? This doesn't even Take fit. Her Try that one first. <laughs> That's partially because there's so much sweat pad in there. <laughs> I can't get this on. She was trying. <laughs> she's so cute. Here, honey. You should come down. <laughs> that must be Andy's coming. Did you want this out of here? Well, how's the top look? I don't like the. It's not looking at all. It's better. So Andy's coming, so we're gonna have to stop this so he can get the shoes on. And then we'll go back to doing this. Um, yeah, I went to Tarnas off, then I wanna measure those those uh hames to see what's going on there. Okay. Otherwise it's better if the owner's not around. When someone's shoe went small. Oh, actually, way better. Not that you're a problem at all, but a lot of owners are a problem. Well, I ain't got no idea. I get a little nervous. That's my baby. Well, maybe it's just as well you were stayed out of the way then. Yeah, grab that pen. That looks like a small one. I don't think that's going off. Okay. I think just pour it bad. Seems it's better days. Yeah, or but we just try, and try it for size. Let's are we see. taking this one too? Yeah, bring it. Probably the same as the one you've got. So. Yeah. disturb them. See also with pads, some are extra wide and some are just regular width and that makes a difference too. All these little things make a difference. Some are extra dirty and some aren't. Alright, All right, so back again on the harnesses. We've tried several different things already and this is back to his original collar. Um, and by fixing the hames like we have, we've got different hame straps on, we can, those hames would work on that collar, but we both decided that this is a lot lighter duty collar than my old, my old junk one here. This is an old pulling, no choke pulling collar, and it's still in well usable shape. And so I think best to, if we can get a pad that's a, this is, this was your original pad. Yeah. So we're just gonna try a couple of the pads and see if we can find something a little bit better. That's a 29 inch pad, which is quite a bit too small for this collar. And we had, we couldn't even get this collar over her head when we had that 29 inch pad on, correct? Yeah. So that's, uh, no, this is the one I wanna try. Cause I think that's a little bit shorter. Sometimes oh. you can lay these down to get a measurement from one to the next. Now this is not a very good pad, but it will tell us what size we actually need. And it's perfectly fine to use this pad even for a little while, but then you can just order a new pad. But you can see the difference in how wide these are. See this one here is an extra wide. This is just a normal size. And they all come with, <laughs> that's not gonna work. That's, that's a 30, 30 inch, but still. Yeah. 
That's not gonna work, I'm surprised. That's a 32, must be. It says 9. It's 29. It's, 29. it's, it's a little shorter than that one. It's just an inch difference, yeah. Yeah. What's that one? Is there a number on it? No. That one looks to be like a 28. That oh. looks shorter. Okay, let's take that one out. I'm gonna sit and put knees on this so they don't get wet. This was a good pad too, right? Yep. Can you wipe it off a little bit? I meant Jim. I didn't mean you, Will, but <laughs> it's like so dirty. Hate to get that nice horse yeah, all this dirty. Is, this is quite a few inches shorter than the 29, so that's probably... That one had a tag on it. Oh, that did? Oh, yeah. 27. 27. And I bet this is a 28. Because that comes down a lot closer together yeah. than the other one did. <laughs> so... I would say when we get the horse back, we should try this collar on, and I think that one's gonna fit pretty good, although it's still the same size collar as you originally had, the 25. Yeah. And I felt that was way too small. So anyways, we'll have to get it back, and maybe while we're waiting, even we can get that other 26 inch collar that I had that you could use and find a pad for it. So. So let's take ladies well, back. That one's all stretched out, my feeling. Yeah, yeah. Well, that still be fine, but um, when you're dealing with what you're dealing with, and you're having troubles on those heavy loads, that's what we got to find out and get situated and fixed. So let's take ladies' collar back in, and we'll get that other collar and put this this sweat pad on, or see if we can find a better one, because I've got a lot of these sweat pads that are older, but they're still okay. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So while Andy was shoeing Will's horse here at my place, I had taken Buck and Ken up to Eli's to get their shoes reset. And Will has always liked Ken and thought his horse and my horse would make a good pair. So I'm just going to put them together to, so we can see how they look together. I think you can see there's quite a size difference. How much do you say... Um Buck or Ken weighs? Probably 19. Oh, 19. Okay. Oh. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> They're looking at each other. Yeah, he's a lot taller, that's for sure. Cut the weight there. I'm still surprised how much he weighs. He's a lot of body horse. was the 25 inch one. Amazing the difference. Do you see the difference? Yeah. I mean that other collar, the one you had on was so tight. I'm putting the lower hame strap on. We'll get it tight and we'll see how it looks. That's why I like the, those ratchets. You just pop it in and they just snap them. I'm trying to get this hole there. There it is. Okay, let me... Okay, this, you see the difference on these hames. See how tight they fit? Tight on the bottom, right on up through. And that's way better. It's a little bit of gap way up there, but it's perfectly fine. This is that piece of leather that's in here too, because it's kind of, it's kind of a, a wearing off. This collar's not very good shape, but still perfectly fine for what he needs to do for a while. And over here, same thing. These hames fit yep. beautiful. Okay, so now. And there's a lot more room here. 
lot more room it's, on this collar. And that's a, still a 25. They're both 25s. But uh, it's a totally different collar. Um, let me go get your head over here. Of course, until you work her also, that collar is not going to really fit her body until it you know, works a little bit. So it's not really back here like it should be. I would say try that collar and see what happens. See what happens, see how she pulls with this. Every time you do a change, you can't do a lot of changes all at once because you won't really know what, what really works. So I would suggest go with this collar, try this collar. These chains fit a hundred times better than they did on the other collar. Right now the collar seems like it's about the right fit. Although you work that worked her new collar without the hames right so it allowed it to really spread because you had the big gap up top and yeah. all. so it allowed it to spread and now it won't be able to spread um yeah i think you should just try it like that and see what happens see if there's a change if there's not a change we could put that other 26 inch collar on. it sits better once her head's in the right position yeah. too yeah yeah but it's still not way back there it's not tight here at all until she starts actually pulling something you really won't know but yeah, I would say give it a try. And uh, if that doesn't work, you know you got the 26 inch collar to, to come back on to, to try that. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.